Who will go and share with you for a few minutes the power of the resurrection? The power of the resurrection. If you haven't been saved, you don't know the power of the resurrection. But when you have accepted Christ as your Lord and Savior, according to Romans, 10 and 9, which says that if thou shalt confess with thy mouth the Lord Jesus, and shall believe in thine heart that God has raised him from the dead, thou shalt be saved. Amen. For with the heart man believes unto righteousness, and with the mouth confession is made unto salvation. So concerning the power of the resurrection, the resurrection gives us exceptional power. Amen. And the power of the resurrection, it gives us the power to stage a comeback right. after experience a setback. Right. Huh? Right. The power of the resurrection gives us power to stage a comeback after experience a setback. Yes, all right. Many of you have experienced a setback. Yes, yes. Lord. Some may be physical. Mm, say some it. may be spiritual. Some may be mental. Mm. Some may be job wise. Some yes. may be family wise. Ah. Many have experienced a setback. Right. But when you have the power of God working in you, all right. God can give you power. All right. Say that. Come on now. Come on now. To set up a comeback. All right. All right. Many have health issues. Yeah. Some have gotten new that you need to have a surgery. Yeah. Operation. That's a setback. Yeah. Just to get that kind of news. Yeah. Right. But when you've been born again, you see, you can look to the Lord. I can call things that are not as though they were. Yeah. And this gives me the power to stay. A comeback yes, yes. in spite of a setback. Yes. All right. Somebody may have lost their job. All right. That's a setback. Yes, yes, it is. It is. But it can give you the power for a comeback. That's right. As Evangelist Washington said earlier that he lost his job and came off the job because the work was slow. But you know what? <laughs> but because he had the power of the resurrection in Christ in his heart. God gave him the power to experience a comeback. For the blind, the deaf, and the off. Lost part of my hearing in my left ear. And when I was a youngster, kids used to laugh at me. Right. Where I used to talk and read. Yeah. Made fun of me. Yeah. Right. But God, I learned after I learned more about the Lord, He was set me up right. Right. for a comeback. Right. 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 In spite of I had a setback. Yeah. Well, many told my daddy, say, You wasted money on that boy. Yeah. He's not going to be all what you think he's going to be. All right. He said, well, my dad said, I'm going to help him because I'm going to help try to make it all he can possibly be. Yeah. Right. Yeah. And I am a witness. Yeah. God was staging me. Yeah. Set me up yeah. for a comeback. Yeah. But you know what? That's all right. But you know the Lord? God. Set you up That's right. That's right. for a comeback. Right. Even though you had yeah. a setback. Yeah. Well, now, it's important for you to realize that you have to keep on moving yeah. Right. Yeah. while you have time. Yeah. Huh? Yeah. And you know, God will keep on blessing you yeah. if you let it. But let me take a sidebar right here All right. in Psalm 34. David says, in spite of my 
setback. Right. I will bless the Lord at all times. Time. Yes. And his praise shall continually be in my mouth. Yes. My soul shall make a boast in the Lord. The humble shall hear the and be glad. Oh, magnify the Lord with me. Yes. And let us exalt his name together. I sought the Lord and he heard me and delivered me from all my fears. They looked on the hill and were enlightened and their faces were not ashamed. This poor man cried and the Lord heard him and saved him all in his trouble. And the angels of the Lord encamped around about them that fear him and delivered them. I want to tell you this morning, oh, taste and see that the Lord is good. Even though you're going through something right now, God is in the process yeah. of setting you up for a comeback. Some good stuff. Some good stuff will come up. If you plant flowers, you'll get flowers. If you plant thorns, you'll get thorns. You plant thistles, you'll get thistles. But if you plant the right stuff, you'll get a production a results of your effort. Come on. Every so often I look at Brother Michael, I remember when he came here and other youngsters used to say, you come pretty often. And I know a lot of times he didn't come because he wanted to come. Mom and Dad said, you come coming. But after so much time, he realized it was good for him. Like a lot of us, young people don't know too much about this. A lot of you, uh, Adult, no, I don't know any adult I've ever seen who like Castro. <laughs> I used to take it, but I never liked it. I took it, but I never liked it. Took it with coffee, took it with juice, took it with a whole lot of stuff, but I never liked it. But I took it because I was in farm to take it. And see, it wasn't no discussion whether or not I was going to take it, whether or not I liked it. It was just a matter of when I was going to take it. I wasn't through a hammer with it. But God was staging a setup for a comeback. And you know what? I'm glad to see all of you in the Lord's house yes, on Resurrection Sunday. Yes, right. Now, I don't know about you, but Christ yes, has been resurrected in my life. Right. Yes, yes. See, because see, when I was a youngster, uh, when Chubby Checker <laughs> was saying, come on and do the twist. Yeah. Huh? Come on and do it like this. <laughs> But since Christ yes. has come into my life, yes. I got a brand new day. Amen. But Jesus yes. is able yes. to set you up yes. to a comeback. We used to rent places because my father and mother separated at my early age. And we used to rent places. And she'd have to go in and make an appeal on how much she could pay and how much the promise she could, she, could, uh, she could pay and what have you. But God, God, God. I didn't realize it. He said, I'm setting you up yes, right now. I'm stage, making the stage for you that you can make a comeback yes, in spite of your setback. Yes, so that you don't always have to be a least earth. You can be a leasee. You can do the one leasee. But you see, you got a plan. Blessing in somebody else's life. Hello. Can you point? I never mentioned this to no one. One night I was coming from a conference there in Kansas City. There's a lady walking along with two children. And the conference was over, and it was about 11.30 at night. 
didn't know, hadn't met her before, and the Lord just paid some heart to go. And then, I mean, this is some years ago now, about 30 years ago. Go give that lady $20. And I saw she had those two children, and I gave her the $20. Never to see her again. But the point is, when you plant the right stuff, yes, the right stuff yes, yes. comes back to you. Yes, that's right. Can't do that! Jesus, with his 
some suffering and pain for yours and my sin. But maybe you were in better shape than I was. See, maybe you hadn't done anything wrong. But in spite of what somebody may think, I made some mistake. Yes. The scripture says, for all have sinned and come short of the glory of God. Well, it doesn't matter what you've done, but it doesn't matter whether you've asked for forgiveness. Somebody sitting right here under the sound of a voice at one time or another, you said something and you regret your sin. But after you've spoken the word, you couldn't take it back. What do I have a witness? Say, in spite of where you came from, you can still be a giant. I don't know if many of you know that Steve Harvey, the great comedian, the teacher one day asked him, he said, Steve, he said, what do you want to be? He said, well, I want to be a star and a comedian. She pulled him over to the sides. Say that, son. How many people in your family done something like that? Nobody. So what makes you think you can be a star? But the teacher didn't know. God was setting him up for a setup to make a comeback. And the rest is history. He became a star. In movies, yeah. television, and on stage production. Yes, Amen. I want to encourage somebody. Even though the doctor may say you suffer from diabetes, you can still make a comeback. Yes, 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 Even though the doctor say you're suffering from high blood pressure, you can still make a comeback. Well, yeah. right. yeah. But if you suffer from high blood pressure, you still eating pork and bacon. Uh, you won't have no comeback. Yeah. Come on, 
forever. I hope you live forever. And I never die. That scripture said, we shall, when we're in the Lord, we shall live forever and never die. To he that believeth in me, though he were dead, shall never die. And what that really means, this mortal body will die. Yes. But the spiritual body will live forever. We're going to take off this mortal body yes. and put on immortality. Yes. And we put on the immortal body, we shall live forever. And I thank God yes. for saving my soul and making me whole. And God is setting you up for a great comeback in spite of a setback. Give God the glory.